people are not only expecting a large sound and a, and a cool sound, they're expecting something different. You have to be able to surprise yourself. If you're not surprising yourself, you're probably not gonna surprise other people. For about the past five years, I've been busy scoring the God of War franchise. And then also, I've had the TV doors kind of open up for me also. So I've been scoring a couple of um, cartoons that have been airing on the Nickelodeon channels. One is um, Wow Wow Wubsy, which is a really happy, not gory uh, <laughs> cartoon. And the other one is Ape Escape. <gasps> what you've done? There's no telling what might happen to you now. And then last year I scored my first feature film. That was quite a challenge, but I, I, was, I had a great time and I learned a lot. The first impression of God of War when I first found out about it years ago um, really changed once I saw the game. Because the first phone call I got was, hey, we're looking for something kind of in this style. And they had a few style guides of some tracks they kind of liked. And they called me to do my take on that kind of style. And they liked it, but there was something kind of missing. I just decided, look, can I come down and take a look at the game? And so I went down to Sony and saw the game, and it, it just just blew me away. Just the, the visuals of God of War took me to a whole other place. And I knew what I had to do. Very recently, for the God of War Ghost of Sparta game, I just started doing weird things with instruments. I started playing them in weird ways. I love using drumsticks and tapping like an upright bass or a cello, or taking a hammer dulcimer and instead of playing it with hammers and having it be a really kind of Celtic kind of vibe, you detune it to like a harmonic minor scale. So it's really dark and ugly and there's all these tones that are just layering on top of each other. And then I would bow it. I just find that when you approach things differently, you come up with ideas that you wouldn't normally come up with. This piece that I'm about to play for you is from uh, the upcoming release of God of War, Ghost of Sparta. So here's where we start off with the didgeridoo. You jump to a hammer dulcimer, that just kind of gives us a pulse. And then uh, we also have these scrapes, these bowed scrapes. So then we also have this synth element here. It's kind of a low, airy bed. So here's Atlanta Suspense all tracks playing together. If you write good music, uh, you can write good music for film and in a linear format. You can write good music for TV in a linear format. You can write good music for games, which is a combination of linear format for the cinematic sequences, and in-game music, which is, is meant to loop but it's, it's how you piece the music together that you're, it's not supposed to feel like a loop. And now that the PS3 and Xbox 360 are these huge, massive computers that they are, film and TV composers are coming out of the woodwork. They want in. The grass is always greener. You know, you've got all these people that have done games that want to do film, who, and people who do film that want to do games and fights from TV and everything crosses over. And I've just found that I love aspects of each one enough to keep doing all of it. 
and people can call me a video game composer, they can call me a TV composer, they can call me a film composer. But at the end of the day, I'm a music composer.